Hello and welcome to Crusader Kings 3 where I'll start with the bad news. The bad news being that the Rise of the Sars campaign is now over. Uh, sadly this is due to the game has updated and I can't open my previous files without it crashing. I've tried a few things to try and get it to work but it just won't but it is what it is I can't help that. So I've begun another campaign. Um, we are currently the Earldom of Lindsay. We're starting in 867, so earlier than before. This is the current situation. Um, I have stuck with the Sars, only this time we've got a green field with a white um, tree. So like a mighty oak, we shall grow. That is our motto. Um, basically, the goal, again, is the same to become the Emperor of Britain. Now, this campaign I will call the forging of Britain rather than the rise of the Sars. So let's just go ahead and get into this. So I have purchased the new update as well. New DLC should I say. Oh beep 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 every time. Yeah I, I've purchased the new update which is uh, friends and foe so uh, look out for the new things on that. Let's go yeah so again I want to focus on a strong economy and strong army basically um, council invitation we will accept that straight away um, and just things bleeping in the background just sorted that so I'm not married so first thing I'm going to do is an alliance um, yes yeah, she's 20 let's just go with that then for now um, I've got no air, I can't do that, so let's go to administrator, there we go, so got things under the way, uh, this is currently me, Earl Thomas of Lindsay, um, let's unpause then, so right, so again I'll try to keep about to round half an hour with these episodes, um, Hopefully this time I do get to see the campaign through. We can watch all the others up to the point. I think I became the, was it the Principality of Powys or something like that? I managed to get to before, so it wasn't all bad news. It's just a shame I've had to, uh, I couldn't get it to work because I'd like to have stayed with that campaign a bit more. So we haven't got a lot of money. Um, oh, we're at war, aren't we? Oh yes, our liege is at war, yes, I um, didn't think about that. So we're being ravaged. Now, I've got to be careful because this might become the Dane Law. Uh, too few knights. Uh, we can invite one, well we can have one more knight. Um, levies. Can't create any more. I don't want to because we haven't got a great income there, have we? Um, so I'm married. I'm married now. Of House Barcelona. Right, so. First things first. Have we got any claims? We haven't got any claims. Can we take Darby? Is that part of Mercia? It is part of Mercia. Uh, they currently don't have many men. So if go straight away, fabricate a claim on Darby. Let's take Darby. Of course, I live near Darby as well. So last time I think we started, didn't we, with the Earldom of Staffordshire? But yeah, we started uh, slightly different this time. A uh, bit of a change of pace. But we'll uh, see how we go, basically, in this campaign. Um, of course, Wessex down here. We have Cornwall. Jorvik, Northumberland, East Anglia, and obviously Mercia. West Francia is just a beast down here. Brittany. Well, you can see all the different factions. Uh, I'll just zoom out so you can see the map currently as it is. So, I mean, it'd be great to 
perhaps plays one of these small little African states or something one day as well. That looks uh, could be quite challenging. Right, so I'm currently yeah under siege by these massive, massive armies, which I cannot do anything about. Um, so there you go, Sons of Lodbrook, Invasion of Northumberland. So that's the great heathen army. Yeah, Sons of Lad, yeah, Lodbrook. So that'd be Ragnar. Uh, war declared on Liege again. Our poor Liege is right under. Who is our Liege anyway? Oh, um, he's bisexual as well. So, right. Right then, uh, there's not a lot we can do other than await for our claim here. But then, do we destabilize by taking bits I don't know uh, so we've got two from eight I can have up to eight holdings I've only got two so that that'd be good uh, my wife is pregnant great stuff because I do need an heir so I do have these I've forgotten the last campaign about these but I do have these but they are paid positions so we can have a court yeah a court position Basically, court tutors, you know, bodyguards, personal champions, food tasters, sort of thing. Uh, but they are paid positions. They're a great, great feature. They weren't originally in the game, but they were in Crusade Kings 2. So I'm absolutely glad they added them to Crusader Kings 3. Uh, nice little way to appease people. So. Our claim's coming on nicely. Let's speed up so we get this claim through, and then hopefully we can try and take... Right, uh, we have a daughter. Right, uh, if we see it done, so we're just in the money there. Um, I'm up, yeah, I want... Right, oh, pause, let's go... Just want to check he's got no allies, so he's currently at war. He hasn't got many men. I don't think I can declare war on him because he's at war. Oh no, he is. Um, so let's do that. Um, call on my ally. Raise my troops and let's unpause. So go straight over for the jugular. My ally has joined. So if I could take this, that's a bit extra, and then I'll perhaps get the Earldom of Staffordshire as well. If I can get the Petty Kingdom of Mercia, that'd be great. That's my first objective. Overall, my objective is, like I say, become the Emperor of Britain. Try that again. And I'll just uh, reiterate, this is series is going to be called The Forging of Britain, so... Because that's what I intend to do. I do prefer Rise of the Sars, but I, I did that once. I don't want to over milk it. Try and keep things a bit fresh, bit new, sort of thing. So, oh, I, I don't want these hostile armies coming and battering me as well. So, chains of loyalty. There we go. We certainly want loyalty. So if I can just take this, that that'd be good. Quick, a quick war with a quick land grab, basically. Um, who are you? Neutral army. So you just don't want these uh, the Vikings as well. The Vikings are very, very tough. And this, uh, particularly early game, really up against it. So. I said I have got the new DLC on this, so we go, uh, victory, force demands, there we go. So we've now got, let's disband the troops, try and get some money up again. Um, so good stuff, now I'll go straight into the council and get my marshal to increase control here, which means we should get money, more money, uh, Lindsay is under siege. 
So there we go, nice quick war, and we've got a nice bit of land now. So a bit of a head start from the last campaign, uh, which I felt, oh, you know, we, we're making progress, but I don't think it was enough to become the Emperor of Britain before time runs out, because uh, you've only got to the end of the medieval period, which is, I don't know, 1400 and something, uh, I believe. I um, can't remember when it's exactly off the top of my head, so you are up against it. I mean, you can choose to play on, but I quite like having the the deadlines. Task aborted. Oh, no. So, I wish this war just needs to be over. These two wars just need to be over, basically. We need we need a bit of stability. Mercia needs stability, and then I'll try and get my feet under the table through marriages. Um, there's no point looking just yet, just in case things change. So I'm being raided. Well, that's not my land. Well, they're close to it. Got all these coming over, passing through. So I want, what I really want, is my marshal to stay there and gain control a bit. So like I said, I'll keep these episodes to about half an hour long. If you do want them longer, let me know in the comments below. Uh, call to war. Uh, I'm going to have to do it because came to war for me now I believe was it down here yeah Barcelona here um, so it's a long way off that one I've got all these yeah lot it's Vikings too many Vikings uh, my wife is pregnant could do with a son and then perhaps another one it's always good to have an heir and a spare now, early on in this game, before I change it, um, I think it's a partition succession. So, obviously, all your land gets split between your sons, um, which I don't like. So, I, I want it all nice and tidy into one place. So, I might have to, I don't know, perhaps uh, kill off some children or something. As bad as it sounds, but that that's uh, all part of the game. Because if it gets split... I'd have to go to war with a sibling then to bring it all under one banner. So, we've got 797 troops. Um, let's go and try and do something. Oh, that, ooh, yeah, really up against it. So, I bring my troops over, hopefully link up. And oh no, councillor died. I've got an empty council position there. Oh no, it was it? Yeah, so that just automatically redo. Uh, that's good. So, good start. See, what I like about this game, what makes it so replayable, is no two campaigns are the same, they are so different, they are really so different, which is great makes uh, replaying the game all the more enjoyable go on just go away go away so we got let's um right my daughter let's uh, call her yeah that's a nice one um right so we've got over Oh, I need to link up, basically. No, not that way. Let's go this way. Really need to... Yeah, I think if they meet up together... Just bad. Uh, got to try and get around, and help support him. Uh, try and turn the tide. I don't think that's going to happen here. It's definitely not going to happen here. Oh, 
I'm gonna try and run away. Run away, run away. I've been caught. I've been caught. Uh, that's death. So I'm having to retreat. Uh, stewardship vault. Uh, like a ball. Large lever easily. Yeah, let's go that extra 20%. Certainly do it. Especially as I'm planning to conquer more of the Midlands. War declared on Liege again. I can't see this war being won. Join them over there. Lindsay under siege. Nottinghamshire under some siege. Let's go back to my home territory. Yeah, uh, just not happening. Um, brewing troublemaker. Uh, never at all moment. Rowdy. All children are rowdy. So it's looking very, very disjointed. Have I lost some of my land? <coughs> I have, I've lost Lindsay, no! That is not on. So I'm now just the earldom of Nottingham. I, I want this land back. My armies are raised. I want this land back. I'm never going to defeat that. That's my ancestral home. Right. Um, it's all I've got. Hey, you can declare wars. Too few knights. Um, I'm just going to have to, I think they're going to, yeah, that's, that's, they're going to win that, aren't they? Right, we're just uh, doing what I can for these guys. So we've lost a bit of land because my liege lost the war, basically. Right, so... So we're still part of Mercia. I'll take the Earldom of Leicester and then got a nice little hub here. Can we be cheeky? Can we arrange a marriage? Um, hmm. What have we got here? To start looking at ways soon to get our feet under the table. Where are our forces down here? Um, it's a prolonging, horrible war. Right, bring bring them back.
just about got enough supplies. Defeat, so be it. Uh, disband. Right, so we'll replenish a bit. Now this, I want this bit of land back, but I cannot. I will not be able to defeat them at the minute. They are far too strong. Like I say, I plan on becoming the Emperor of Britain. Play the long game. Play the long game. We'll be fine. Oh, they're actually rising up against their, their lord there. So that wants to be part of uh, the Yaldum of Jorvik. So, is that just a separate? It is just separate on its own. Um, so much, so superior to us, though. That's the thing. So superior. Uh, no claims to press. Um, though I have, because it was my land. Give it me. There we go. It's now become part of Jorvik. Um, see, it's just starting to get all round me now. So, do we let's get our feet under the table here? But I will not accept. I don't want it becoming. Because if I only have daughters. Maybe I can. My second daughter. There we go. Um, what I'll do is. Can I start. A claim on Staffordshire. So I'll start a claim there, get my feet under here, can I interest you in, what can I do, can I sway him, I sway him to like me, maybe he'll start, have an alliance, maybe, I don't know, uh, likeable. So I'm scheming, it's a shame I've lost that, that bit of land. Um, can I... Yeah, I see, I can now. But look at the vast difference. I would just be absolutely butchered. Uh, which is a shame. Which is a shame, I'd like that land back. So let's speed up while we... Get this uh, fabricate this claim so inc increase control in Derby, which is good. So hopefully, now go watch. Let's see, they have they've got 200. I can't see any alliance. So. Oh, he's supposed to make me friends, not enemies. That's because he is absolutely rubbish. That is why. Present my claim on Staffordshire 87. So I'm currently in the red. My daughter. Let's just keep that name. Um, let's go go for the white. So I'm back in the plus now. Back in the white. Uh, stewardship available. Let's um, do that first. So soon forgiven. Let's do that. And um, we will. He's got 200. So I want to press my claim. Raise my forces. Get on over there. Oh no 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 no! They these guys. Whoa! So can I call him into war? I want these to go out of the way because problem is they will just wreck my forces. So he's coming over with another 164 men, they can join me. So what I'll do to end this episode, I'll try and win this war basically. 
do need these to go though. Go down this way. See it go up this way. Let's try and take this and then go and reclaim that land. Wow. Keep getting raided by Vikings. There we go. Um, enforce demands, so be it. Let's go back over here. Get Derby back. So there we go. That's uh, That was a quick and easy tank there. So we've actually got a nice bit of land. Um, we can't take Lindsay back yet. These are coming down for me, aren't they? Promise I've just I keep yeah keep getting the raided and the destroying everything. So let's go into my council position and let's take us get you over here. Um, so there we have it. Let's just take this back and we can call it quits for today. We've we've had a good start. It's a shame we lost our ancestral home, um, but nevertheless we're here. We're on the rise. We begin the path to the forging of Britain. So it's not all doom and gloom. Only a nightmare. There we go. Piety. We could always do a bit more piety. So let's disband then. Get us back in the plus. Right, so... For this episode we will leave it there. We've uh, actually had a good start. And we've got three daughters. Uh, we could do with a, a son. But I'm not too worried because a daughter is a daughter. Uh, let's just have a look at the succession. So I'll, I'll lose two because it'll get split between the daughters. So if we have a son, it will just go to them. Um, so yeah, there we have it. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time for more Forging of Britain. Until then, goodbye.